This short video is about the anti-siphon valve on the seawater cooling system on my Volvo 2020D in a Bavaria 32. Now, my anti-siphon valve is a Vetus one and it is original to the boat and it's the one which has a little valve inside it. There's basically two types of these. There's my type, which has the valve inside it. And there's another type, which has a little pipe that um, drains to the outside and drips as the engine's running if the anti-siphon valve is working properly. Um, that's really the better type, because uh, you can see all the time that the anti-siphon valve is working properly. Mine is the inferior type, and it has the um, little valve inside, which needs to be maintained. Anyway, that's what I'm stuck with, so that's what I'll talk about now. Um, the type that I have has a hose leading from the top of the anti-siphon valve down into the bilge. Now, when this boat was built by Bavaria, the hose ended about here, and that's because it must never sit in water, because if it does, there's a risk of the anti-siphon valve not functioning properly. Um, but I found when it did drip, it dripped salt water into the bottom of my boat and made a bit of a mess. So I replaced it with another hose, which goes into this area just in front of the engine. And I've made sure that it's um, not so long that it sits on the bottom of the cabin sole there, um, or the sump sole. And I think that means that it should be safe and um, there's no chance of the system not working if water does build up down there. And it does avoid um, a lot of mess. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that you're supposed to do is take this apart as part of regular servicing and clean it out. I've done that before and it does get um, a bit of silt in there. Um, it's very, very easy to clear, clear out as long as you can get the valve part out. It does tend to stick a bit. Um, this year, though, I've bought another um, re bought a replacement valve. So here's the replacement from Vetus directly. Um, it's about twenty pounds. Um, and I thought that was so cheap, it's not really worth um, not doing it. Uh, given the age of the boat, um, if I put this one on now, it should outlast the boat. Um, the present one does seem to be working, but I have had um, a few drips. Uh, I cleaned it and it stopped dripping, um, but I've decided that I would rather change it completely. Uh, just forget about it then, so that's what I'm going to do now. Now, there's two ways of working on these valves. In order to access the moving part, you have to remove this little cap from the top. And the little cap on the top is held in by two tiny screws and there's very little space to get at the screws. You might just be able to see one of the screw heads there. It is possible, uh, that's the difficult way. The easy way is just to remove the whole component from, uh, from the bulkhead here. And that's what I'm going to do. There's one screw left to undo, but before I undo that, I'll just undo uh, this one here that's holding the, uh, the pipe in place, um, because without that, I can't remove the um, anti-siphon valve properly. just about managed that without dropping a screw or a screwdriver. And now we can just move the anti-siphon valve forward and the little screws on the top are now easily accessible. So the valve is off now and the little screws on the top are now easily accessible. So the cap's off and I can now remove the workings of the valve. It's sometimes a bit tight, 
so I'll have to put the camera down and uh, pull it out with a bit more force. In the end, I just eased the O-ring um, with a screwdriver and then the whole component lifted out. And here it is. If you are not replacing the valve, you just need to have a clean inside the valve here. Um, mine doesn't look too bad, but after a whole season, it, you can get a bit of silt in there. Make sure it's clear of silt and the hole's unblocked. Here's the new one. And we just drop it carefully into the housing like that. Uh, and then we take the new O-ring and fit it in that groove there. I always prefer to put a tiny bit of silicone grease on uh, O-rings before I install them. It makes it easier to get things apart again in future. It's really important to use silicone grease. You can get it from plumbers merchants and never uh, petroleum grease such as Vaseline, which will rot your seals. Now it's just putting the cap on, refitting the component to the bulkhead, um, refitting the, um, the, the uh, support for the um, little clear hose, and that's the job done. Very easy job. I'm going to keep the old one. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, so I'll keep it as a spare. And that's the job done. Uh, very easy job. Um, an important one uh, to make sure that this important component uh, works safely and uh, the risk of the boat flooding is um, minimised and also the risk of water flowing out of the hose is reduced.